back to Blue Jay Bonsai. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at my three Fukian teas. The Little Dwarf, as well as the two regular. So first, we're going to start with a little flashback in time to November, when I first purchased the Little Dwarf Fukian tea. As much as I liked its curves and shape, upon closer inspection, there were a few areas that could be problematic. So I wanted to prune them and take care of before I got too attached and fell in love with the tree and didn't want to chop it up. So for now, I assume this is going to be our first branch. So we continue moving on up the trunk, examining the tree. So this one has to go since it would cause a ladder pattern with our first branch. The next area of concern is where these sort of three branches all sprout out from one point, which is causing some inverse taper. And as mentioned earlier, one of these two branches needs to go. There can only be one leader. So I've decided to take off the larger of the two so we'd have more taper. So since I recorded this back in November and none of the audio was saved, I'm not 100% positive why I wanted to take this branch off. It's probably a combination of being a little too straight and also contributing to a ladder with the branch directly below. So here we're just trimming back to encourage new growth and to get rid of a trident. I don't like the way that this branch is sticking straight up. And I decide to take everything back a little further. The same thing over here, straight up has to go. Now it's at this point that I start to have second doubts about that first branch. And when I really take a look at it, I think the tree would look a lot better without it. And of course, when I really think about it, this branch is on the inside of a curve and it should also go. So I think that's enough for this little tree for today. And I might just plant it on a slightly different angle in the future. And now here we are back in present day. Although the little dwarf Fukian doesn't really need a trim yet, since I have it out here on display, I'm just gonna clean up a couple of little things. We've had some regrowth on the branch that we pruned off on the inside of the curve. So we're just gonna take that off. And as for this branch, it's possible I could wire it back for a back branch in the future, or future thread graft or something fun like that. But I'm definitely going to clean up all of these little buds that have sprouted leaves down near the base of the trunk. We definitely don't want any branches this low. So that's all the pruning we're going to do on the little dwarf Fukian today. And as I mentioned, I'm still leaning towards this angle when we eventually put this in a bonsai pot. And now we're going to take a look at our first Fukian. This is actually James's. He picked this out. And I'm forbidden from doing anything to it. But since he's at school, we won't tell him. I'm just going to clean up these suckers here at the base of the trunk. And I'm going to give you an update on our pest problem. Just like Zin, we seem to have a little infestation. They appear to be black aphids. We've been using an insecticidal soap, which has really helped to get everything under control. But for any of the trees that still seem to be infected, I'm going to give them a hit with this Dr. Doom. I've used it before and it doesn't seem to have any side effects on the trees. You really got to make sure you spray from every angle as those little aphids love to hide up under the leaves. 
I haven't quite figured out who patient zero is, but the Fukians seem to be affected the most. They really attract those pests. On the big Fukian, the one I got from Mario, I tried this spray first. And that's the reason why there are no leaves left on it. It completely defoliated it. This is the insecticidal soap that I have used many times with no issues whatsoever. This one has really helped to knock back all the aphids where we almost have them under control right now, except for the Fukians who we have in quarantine from the rest of the trees. So as I mentioned, here's the big Fukian, almost completely devoid of foliage. It was two weeks ago that we sprayed and it lost all its leaves. And as you can see, it's already starting to bounce back. Now I don't normally recommend pruning unless a tree is in absolute good health, but I just can't help but prune up a few little things that are bothering me while it's defoliated and I have such a clear view of all the branches. So that's it. There's really no carnage. Like I said, I just wanted to do a couple of very minor things. And that, that was the last one. And now it's time for subscribers picks. If you'd like to see your photos of your trees, bonsai or pre bonsai on the channel, then send us an email with your name, the name and species of your tree, and any other interesting information. Subscriber Susan Moray sent us this picture of her star juniper in a hobbit penjing. I really like the way the arch of the juniper matches the arch of the hobbit hole. Subscriber Kate Dodd sent us this pic of her new indoor grow lights and shelving for her succulents and tropicals. It looks great, Kate, and best of luck with your new setup. Kale from the Kitchener Waterloo and Toronto Bonsai Societies, who you might know as Hyperion Helios, sent me these picks. First is his Ficus Benjamina Too Little. They were cuttings, which he rooted and put in this dollar store bowl, which he added drainage to. And on top is his first 3D printed shrine. This is his Melina or Parrot's Beak. It has really nice small leaves compared to mine. And he's promised the little cutting to me if it roots and survives. Audrey Dawson sent these pics of her latest creation, a bird's nest spruce in a Japanese stone pot. 75% off after the holidays. Nice discount. And one of her favorites, the burning bush. I love the moss you get in the Pacific Northwest, Audrey. Looks great. Magnus from the channel Green Machine Sweden sent us these pics of this beautiful natural raft style jade from his recent vacation on Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. I bet he wished he had a big suitcase for that one. Gidris from Lithuania sent us this pic of his mama ficus, which he actually got from his mama and has since started to turn into a bonsai. But this is a little cutting that he got on vacation in Crete and brought back and turned into this amazing bonsai. Great job, Ghidris. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.